Hey there, I'm Tudor, product lead at MailTrap. Do you want to turn your contact spreadsheet into a finely tuned marketing machine? Then boy, do we have a video for you. Today, I'll show you how to get the most out of MailTrap contacts. Before we start, let's first make sure that we're keeping track of all of the variables that we want to use. First and last name, state, country, and so on. Go to Contacts, then Fields, and then click on Create Field. In the pop-up window, enter the field name, select the type, and hit Create. Do this for all of the variables that you want to use. This work will pay off when you're sending emails that are truly personalized. All right, with that out of the way, let's import. In the left navigation panel, select All Contacts, and then click Import Contacts. If you don't have your list in CSV format, you can use our CSV template for the most predictable results. But if this isn't your first rodeo, you can just drag your existing CSV file into the page to import it. Or use the system dialog if you prefer. On to mapping. Remember the fields that we created earlier? This is where they come in handy. Let's assign the name, surname, state, and country fields. Once you're done, click on Confirm Mapping. It's now time to add your contacts to a list. If you don't have a list yet, you can create one right here. Pro tip, a contact can be in either one or several lists. Speaking of lists, do you like spam? Because we don't. Nobody does, really. This is why we require you to confirm that everybody in your list has agreed to be in your marketing campaign. So after ticking the checkbox, you can finally click Confirm Import. Okay. You've imported contacts into a list and mapped the list columns to the variables that you will use in your emails. Now that we have some contacts, let's manage them. To find the contacts you want, you can filter them by subscription status, email, or list. For example, to see only subscribed contacts, choose subscription status, is, and then subscribed. If you click search, you'll see all of your subscribed contacts, of course. Let's have a look at a contact's details. You can see and edit all of their info. You can delete or unsubscribe them. And you can select which lists they belong to. Do keep in mind that if you unsubscribe a contact, you can't resubscribe them manually, unless they sign up to your list again. You can also manage contacts in bulk. Just go to the All Contacts page and mark all of the contacts you want to change. The most common bulk operation for contacts is adding them to lists. But if you click on More Actions, you can also remove them from lists, unsubscribe them, or even delete them. Going back to lists for a moment, you can create a new list by navigating to Contacts, then Lists, and then clicking on Create List. Choose a name, click Create, and that's it. That was easy, wasn't it? In addition to importing contacts, now you know how to edit their details and manage the lists that they belong to. To learn how to group and segment your contacts, stay tuned for our upcoming tutorial. Meanwhile, why not check out how easily you can create and send effective email templates with MailTrap? Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.